All right, welcome everyone. It is time. Frostpunk 2 is finally here. It's been a few years since the first Frostpunk 2 announcement teaser, and it's actually finally releasing. I heard it's a pretty cool game. And yes, it's going to be completely blind. I have not played yet. I have not watched any videos. Okay, I mean, maybe I watched like 20 seconds somewhere, but basically I don't really know anything. It's going to be 99% blind, basically. Should be fun. I'm looking forward to it. Anyway, so let's get started, shall we? Welcome to Frostpunk 2. Frostpunk 2 is a challenging game in which planning ahead is crucial and failure is a natural part of the experience. If you're a veteran of the original Frostpunk or enjoy a challenge, you may try your luck with the officer or higher difficulty level. Otherwise, we suggest you start at citizen and take it one step at a time. Uh, they miss the opportunity to say, uh, to start with a more chill experience. Am I right? Remember, it's not about how many times we fall. It's about how many times we get up. All right. Story, the legacy of New London. All right, prologue. Let's go. Citizen, officer, steward, captain. So obviously we do captain, right? <laughs> no, no. I suppose we could do officer. This is going to be blind. Again, I don't know anything about Frostpunk 2 yet, other than the fact it exists, and it's quite a, a different game compared to the first one. But, well, hopefully officer will make things a little bit more exciting. A challenging endeavor, still with a margin for error, but otherwise demanding focus and planning. Go for steward. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm brave enough to do that without knowing at least something about the game. Anyway, this is the prologue. So let's do the prologue. Survive against all odds. There's no active pause and your progress will be saved on exit only. Oh, wow. All right, let's get started. People are gonna speedrun this on no pause. Oh yeah, absolutely. They absolutely will. I have zero doubt about that. Can you hear us? Prepare for no call nearby. Well, I know this game has oil, at least I think so, but I remember uh, some of that in the trailers. We've the crumbling. Okay, seems a bit quiet. I'm impressed he's still alive. Like in this universe, that's definitely an achievement. The Wanderers, prologue. We've been roaming the frozen desert for years. Many of us do not remember a world before the Great Frost. Now another whiteout is coming. And again, we've reached the old machine. Again, we will rely on its furnace to provide heat for the storm. In the past, we always made sure uh, there were enough supplies for the next whiteout. But our numbers have grown through the years. Providing for everyone is getting harder and harder. I see where this is going. 
Prologue, The Wanderers. Fight the cold. The old dreadnought remains in pieces under layers of snow, but the scattered wagons still have resources inside. First, we might break ice to reach one of the oil wagons and construct an extraction district to use it. Then we can turn on the dreadnought's furnace to heat us. Alright? Normal speed, fast, fastest. Week one, day three. 3000 population. And press T to see the tutorial. Population growth is a measure of how fast your city grows. It's both blah blah blah. When a population growth reaches a certain threshold, a population census will take place, noting an increase in your overall population in the city. Favorable situation in your city without any significant problems increases population growth. We got scraps, we got prefabs, uh, minus 20 hit. Alright. Right click for more information. Okay. Got it. Oil. Absent. Shelter. Food. I actually quite like this tooltip system where you can right click and see a description instead of some numbers. That's a pretty cool idea. Alright, so whiteout arriving in 88 weeks. Frost break to an oil wagon and construct an extraction district. Turn on the furnace in the dreadnought rack to provide heat. So, uh, this is the dreadnought rack. Deactivated, no fuel. Frost break. Construct districts. Construct hubs. So, this is it. I need eight. Again, this is all blind. I don't know anything about Frostpunk 2 yet. Just saying. I'm sure nothing could possibly go wrong. Hey, surely uh, this timer means that we'll survive at least for 88 weeks, right? Minus 20 degrees. That doesn't seem that bad. So construct the districts. I assume we have to wait to finish frost breaking. Housing, food, extraction. This is the prologue, so I assume this is going to be like sort of a tutorial. Scraps. Scraps are stockpileable resource that can be spent on frost breaking, funding construction, or when using specific actions. Scraps are collected weekly. Everybody provides their share. The bigger the community, the more they contribute. You can use take scraps action on wanderers, which will increase the number of scraps in your stockpile, but also worsen your relations with the wanderers, which as a result, will lower trust in you as a leader. Okay. You can also use the return scraps action, which does the opposite. Right, got it. So we're almost done frost breaking. There we go. So construct an extraction district. Uh, turn on the furnace in the dreadnought rack uh, to provide heat. Alright. So, hold on. Maybe I should have done it on this side. So, extraction district. Select three tiles to construct the district. Right, so it has to be on top of the deposit. Oh, you have to do eight at a time. Okay, alright. That was a bit confusing. Let's speed things up. Since not much is happening. There we go. Now we can presumably build an extraction district. There we go. Three tiles. Okay. Oh no, we're down to 81 weeks now. Yeah, famous last words. It'll be fine. Okay, there we go. Oil. As the thick black liquid oozes through the pipes, our people rejoice. The carcass of this old machine is a testament to the hardships that made us. But more importantly, it's our haven in the storm. It has allowed us to weather many whiteouts, and it will do so again. We have oil. We can turn on the furnace. Alright? Once turned on, the dreadnought's furnace will automatically convert oil into heat. So, it's on. There's overdrive. Fuel mix. Provide the basic infrastructure. The furnace is on. We have enough oil to cover current needs. But the cold will still affect our people until they have proper shelter. 
housing will best protect us from the cold if built in close proximity to other housing, or the furnace itself. However, we'll need prefabricated parts for construction. We brought some with us. The rest we, we need to extract from the wagon wreckages. Right, right. So we should build close to the actual furnace over here. That makes sense. Is there like an overlay? Or something like that? Okay, is that it? Near generator, plus 20 heat. Okay, got it. Oh, I need six. Okay, yeah, got it. What's going on here? Called the notable disease minor, hunger minor, squalor absent, growing. Well, no shit, we only just started. Calm down, <laughs> let us build things. Nothing bad has happened yet, <laughs> because it hasn't been enough time. So nothing bad has happened, that means we're winning. Clearly, that definitely means we're winning. Okay, we need two housing districts, alright? Fair enough. So I guess I can build them next to the other houses now? Yeah, I see how it works. Uh, but I need to frost break there. Right. So I kind of wasted time frost breaking on this side, but alas. It's fine. There you go. So is there any cost to doing this? Hold up. A 300 workforce, 30 scraps. So pretty cheap. Not free, but yeah. This timer is going pretty quickly. We started at 88 weeks and we are already at 70. That's going a little bit faster than I expected. A little bit faster than I feel comfortable with, you know? I don't have a bad feeling about it. Alright, more houses. There you go. Yeah, there hasn't been anything to vote on just yet. Not sure how it works exactly, but it should work. Yeah, nice color palette. Yep. A little bit black and white. With a tiny bit of orange. Be grateful, others have lost their lives. Well, you know, okay. In this universe, I think a quick death might actually be a preferred outcome in some situations, you know what I mean? And I think anyone who played Frostpunk 1 would possibly agree with that. <laughs> I think I would rather just die quickly in a lot of situations in this world. Just saying. Alright, there we go. We'll be better prepared for when the whiteout hits. Well, they are optimistic. Probably not for long. They run out of copium pretty quickly. Uh, frost break to a construction wagon and build an extraction district to provide prefabs. Right. So I guess uh, this right here. Prefabs. That's some food down there, I assume. Alright, I assume we'll need some extra space for this. Disease weakens our workforce. The harsh conditions in the camp take their toll on our people. Disease spreads. More and more of our workers are unable to work. If this continues, our workforce will be decimated, endangering our ability to sustain the camp. Ensure that there's enough heat, shelter and food. Yes, I see. Man, 62 weeks now. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, the children yearn for the coal mines. True. Alright, prefabs. Yes, yeah, still extraction district. There you go. How far can we zoom in? About this far? We can zoom out quite a bit. I wonder how big like the actual map here is going to be. I think uh, later on you'll get to start like extra colonies. At least the, the trailer I saw seemed to imply that this will be the case. You're not just gonna run one colony, you will be running multiple. They get to have nice black lungs as well, yep. There we go. Gain access to food. We established some heat and shelter for our people. We must now turn our attention to the incoming whiteout. 
First, we must frost break to the small patches of fertile soil, suitable for growing food. And then, we must store it in easily accessible depots. We must move quickly so no one starves. <laughs> okay, tell me how exactly there's actual fertile soil over here? That seems pretty unlikely, but alright. Apparently there is. Not that we would survive very long otherwise. They, oh, they aren't actually done with this yet. Against the elements. Each day, the wind grows fiercer. Relentlessly, it beats against our buildings, weakening our structures gust by gust. Without raw materials to repair the damage, our districts will deteriorate. The more we build, the more materials we will need. This is the world we know. Provide more materials to reduce squalor before it harms our people. Promise to gather more materials. Don't address this right now. Okay. Sure. We can promise. That totally doesn't mean we actually have to do it, right? If civilization taught me anything, you can just promise things left and right. I have done that many times. Sure, it's gonna be fine. Uh, okay, done with frost breaking. So we need to go this way. Can I actually make it this far? It's gonna take some time. So wait. Is anything stopping me from going this way? I'm not sure if it has to be like directly connected. There's no actual food over here, just on this side. So maybe it doesn't need to be actually directly connected. Oh yeah, there we go. Fertile soil. Yeah, let's see if this works. It should work, I don't see why not. This was totally all planned. It's always 100% planned. Alright, frost break that shit so you don't starve to death. 54 weeks. 17 registered as sick. Alright, let's get that photo going. Like I said, before we starve. Uh, will it let me build it on anything that's not fertile soil? I assume not. Can we easily see? This obviously counts. Alright, let's go. There we go. Prepare for the whiteout. We secured our immediate survival. Now we have to stockpile as much food as we can before the whiteout forces us to take shelter. To do that, we need to produce more food than our current demand. Right. So we can see it over here. Yeah, we need more than this. We're not stockpiling food. Clearly. Alright, let's get more. Oh, I thought I can have more than one over here. Maybe not. Yeah, but this one is really far away. I would have to go this way at least like three times. <laughs> I might actually starve by the time that happens. Uh, I think I might actually starve anyway. This one is closer, if anything. <laughs> it's gonna be real awkward uh, if we just starve to death. Yeah, see, hold up, hold up. See, it's not very clear which tiles actually qualify. This info is just for the icon. Maybe you can only have one. I think you can only have one. Maybe that's the case. So in that case, uh, since this takes three tiles, I would be better off just continuing in this direction, for example, to go to something more useful. Hey, we did choose the higher difficulty. Yeah, so like this might be better, if I can only build one district on top of that. Yeah, I think we can only build one on top of like each deposit or whatever. At least that's my impression right now. Uh, we've been here so many times, the sword is depleting. What do you mean depleting? We literally only just started. A couple more, and there will be no point erecting the hothouses. There will be nothing to grow food on. And the yield is low. Either we pull emergency shifts, or tighten our belts. Otherwise, there might not be enough for everyone. Yeah, what do you mean? We only just started. How is it depleting? We might not be able to fill the food stockpiles without exceptional measures. 
consider asking the Wanderers to tighten belts or instill emergency shifts in food districts. Stockpiling of food to survive the whiteout. 40,000. Instruct the Wanderers to tighten belts. Order emergency shifts. Okay. Hungary is significantly increased. Food demand per capita is decreased. Take scraps. Return scraps. Well, it's better to do that than have them starve. Russians restricted. Uh, build an extraction district on a maintenance wagon. Extract enough materials to satisfy your district's demands. Uh, not sure what extraction, uh, what maintenance wagon is referring to. I think we should have started on the default difficulty. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm gonna end up restarting this. Yeah. Some people are already are ready to sacrifice themselves to lower the food required. We're building it. Just wait a little bit. There, are we stockpiling it? Okay, now we have a surplus. Order emergency shifts. Special favors. Into the black. We mourn those who have recently passed. As is our custom, we take them to the oil pits. We gently lower their bodies into the thick blackness. The fuel that keeps us warm in life likewise preserves us in death. But death also erodes trust in our leaders. Without the trust, there is no future. Here, yeah, people turn into oil. 344 out of 40,000 required. Stockpiles ready in 131 weeks. Man, that's pretty harsh. So I can only build one food district on each source of food. Yeah, that's rough. We need this one. I have a feeling this is not going to be enough time. Yeah, for the stockpile hub. I don't think we quite need that right now. Oh, it's already depleted. Are you serious? How is it already depleted? We literally only just started. Wow. That's insane. There has to be some other way to get the resources then, if it depletes this quickly. That was like, what, 10 minutes? Or less? How do I demolish this? Demolish this district, yes. That's crazy. That's crazy. Okay, this is where we need to be. I don't think there's enough time. Yeah, I don't think there's enough time. For something that's supposed to be basically tutorial, this is rough. Because this is pretty much supposed to be the tutorial. And I don't think we're gonna survive this one. Where do you order emergency shifts? So this is the workforce. On the building, perhaps? Damage district. Yeah, I know. Yeah, right here. And not much point doing that yet. I guess we'll need that here. Yeah, I think this is gonna be a restart. This might not be enough time. Only 32 weeks left. 29 weeks left. Yeah, minus one food. Shocked at the sight of seals. Okay. The seal colony can supplement our food production. Oh, now you tell me. Might be a bit too late. Yeah, that's a bit far away. I can't get there easily. Okay, maybe I can. All right. So, okay, I assume you can only build one district per resource. That seems to be the case. So that means there's not much point uh, breaking too many tiles around it. Yeah, we are now gathering enough materials to maintain our districts, right? But we're not going to get enough food, like no shot. Heat limited. Did we run out of oil as well? 
now we still got 34,000 remaining. Yeah, we need more than that. We got 500 out of 50,000, out of 40,000 required. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna get 40,000. Like, literally not gonna happen. The whiteout draws near. People in the camp are getting tense. They worry we won't gather enough food in time. Our hunters blame us for ignoring the seed colony. We are literally building it right now! And claim they would have been able to provide enough food for everyone. It's too late for that now. Let our elders go. Food required to survive the whiteout will decrease greatly. Slaughter the seals. It was almost finished. Like, it's already under construction. They should have built it faster. It's still not gonna be enough. Yeah, 39 weeks. It's not gonna be enough. I feel like this is really rough for what's basically a tutorial. The Elder's sacrifice has greatly reduced the amount of food required for our survival. It's still not gonna be enough. Yeah, 30 weeks. I would need to get another one. There's one over here. A mysterious symbol. One of our frostbreaking crew uncovered the frozen remains of a man in a tattered uniform. His shoulder patch reads, New London Scouts, 3rd Platoon, and he bears an obscure insignia. Some of our elders claim it belongs to a military organization, while others argue it has religious significance. Maybe you have heard of this New London before and can settle their debate. I don't recognize it. It symbolizes order, it symbolizes faith. This will create a continuity in which New London has embraced faith to survive. Okay, I see. This will create a continuity in which New London has leaned on either order or faith to... S on a night... wait. Oh, it's shrouded in mystery, okay. So it will be a surprise. Okay, yeah, let's go with that one. Will this be enough? Uh, it might be, it's gonna be close though. It's gonna be really close. And we're three weeks short. How about now? Two weeks short. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, this one is deactivated, it needs repairs. How do I repair it? Hold on, pause. How do I repair this? Right here. Okay. Hurry up then. Get to work. Okay, we will actually make it, barely. Barely. Minus 300 hit though. That's a problem. The Wanderers no longer trust your leadership. They can only be pushed so far before the community breaks down. If you don't address this, even under danger of the whiteout, you will be exiled. You have 15 weeks to increase trust to accept it. Okay. Is that the neutral part? I guess so. Decreased by rationing food. Decreased by sick. Decreased by recent death. Our people are freezing. I can't do everything at once, damn it. Better that some get frostbite than everyone starving. Provide heat and shelter. So wait, yeah, I'm not gonna get enough. Yeah, no, this is just not enough time, straight up. Nine weeks left. Reduce cold to minor, yeah, then I need oil. Where's the closest oil, even? Uh, this one. I can't build anything anymore, I don't have the materials. Yeah, 48 prefabs left. And we're getting zero. We should have started on the default settings. So these are materials. Yeah, lack of prefabs. No shit. Oil remaining. Yeah, needs repairs. Man, this is actually insane. 
I don't think this is enough time. Trust restored. Seven weeks. Yeah, so wait, I cannot actually build any more districts. So how do I get prefabs if I can't build any more districts? Can I even do it? By demolishing things, perhaps? I kind of need most of these. <laughs> I don't even know. Yeah, five weeks. This is not enough time. I don't think I have any more options from here. Yeah, I would have to demolish something. But what? Yeah, generator is disabled. The food? Okay. Yeah, it's not gonna be enough time. Yeah, no, not even close. Not enough time. Yep, the whiteout is here. So I assume that means nobody can work. <laughs> Minus 765 hit, yeah, like, we're dead. I don't know if that was scripted or not, I guess we'll find out. It actually wasn't, or was it? No, it wasn't! Like, this is literally game over. You can't continue beyond this point. Okay, I actually feel like that's absolutely crazy. The fact the actual, like, intro tutorial... Like, is this harsh? That's crazy. Wait, I can't change the difficulty anymore, what? I think I need to delete this and start a new one. Okay. So... I guess we'll just do it like this. Let's see how much difference this is going to make. Well, you need all of these resources because you need oil to heat things up. You need materials to maintain the buildings. Otherwise, the buildings get automatically disabled. So you actually need, uh, like, every resource here. Alright, well, uh, let's uh, do this. Uh, so, oil first. Okay, so assuming you can only build one district per resource. I suppose we can do like this. I assume it has to be on this tile. Yeah, we can do this. At least it didn't seem to be possible to build more than one district per resource. As far as I could tell. We'll do that, alright. Then we'll get oil. And houses. Well, there's the oil. Turn on the generator. Okay. Build some houses next. Right, the construction wagon. 500 prefabs. Right. Yeah, we already got this, so that's fine. Now we can do this. And make some space for houses. So just build houses right away. I guess we need to hurry up. Okay, I need to finish the first one. That's fair. And keep going to get the food. I guess this is the closest one. I don't think I can go down the cliff, can I? Probably not. <laughs> no. Didn't think so. Yeah, then we can go this way. They are not building the houses very quickly. Yeah, that took several weeks. Alright, one more. Yeah, I don't think I want to, like, spend more time making more space, since that's not free. 
just trying to be efficient here. Okay, now we can move towards the other food. Hey, could also go this way. Or we can just make a circle, basically. I'm gonna need the materials. Gain access to food. Alright, for the next. Here you go. Then materials. And the more food. And even more food. Okay, hopefully this will go a little bit better. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. I will prioritize food. And some more oil. Minus 53. Yeah, and the materials. So, extraction district. 68 weeks. Yeah, that timer is pretty tight. It's pretty tight. Alright, we're stockpiling. We'll need more. Let's keep going. And we'll grab the oil and we'll go grab the seal colony. Yeah, I'm one off. That's a bit unfortunate. Okay, we can get the oil later. Next up, we need the materials. Yeah, minus 80. Definitely need more. Before the buildings stop working. Okay, we're stockpiling. Good. Looking a little bit better. Seal colony next. Here you go. And then probably more oil. Yeah, we are at zero right now, so definitely need more oil. So anything we're frost breaking needs to be connected to like the first area that I marked. There's going to be a little bit of wasted space here. But maybe we can use it to build something, like, I don't know, more stockpiles. Okay, got it. Get that oil going. 146 weeks. There we go. 45 weeks. So we got the food covered now. Oil. Okay, got it. We could grab an extra stockpile. 80 prefabs. 50 scraps. So, okay, we have a limited number of prefabs. 80 remaining, 4 weeks. Yeah, 100 seems like quite a lot. What's this? We might not be able to fill food stockpiles without exceptional measures. What do you mean? We're doing fine. No, it's optional, okay. Yeah, I'm not doing that because it's not needed. Why would I do that? Alright, well, food is covered. We don't have a slight oil surplus. We have a slight material surplus. There's more oil here. Right, I guess I could have grabbed that one as well. More materials down here. 150k, okay. There's actually not a whole lot on this map. Yeah, not really. I suppose this is a prologue after all. Our stores are almost full. Build for the stockpile hubs. Yep. Alright, fine. Have at least one for the stockpile hub. Sure. I guess we can have it here-ish. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Is there a bonus? Okay, there is. Minus 10%. Well, let me pause for a second. Minus 10% workforce requirement. Okay, I see. I assume the bonus would be higher... Uh, if I had two uh, food hubs nearby. Mm, 
Alright, looking good. Go to the stockpile. Oh yeah, mysterious symbol. So let's just go with the blast option. It will be either order or faith for New London. Works for me. I like surprises. Okay, we still got 47 weeks. So plenty of time. Yeah, we run out of uh, prefabs here. Oh, heat demand is increased. Okay, we'll need more oil. Some people are ready to sacrifice themselves to lower food required. Don't worry, we got it covered. You guys are gonna be fine. Alright, let's get more oil, shall we? Right here. Doing much better. Okay, that's removed. We got 173 now. There we go. Plus 7. I might still need one more. Is there another one? Maybe you just need to get everything on this map. Yeah, I mean, that wouldn't surprise me too much. Yeah, there's no more oil. Let's just connect this. In case I'm going to need it. Might as well, right? Yeah, there's no more oil. We got all of it. So, tough shit. It's gonna have to be enough. There you go. And we don't quite need that yet. We have a surplus of materials. Yeah, right here. Let's get that too. There you go. Opinion on city direction. Indifferent. Hey, you guys feel free to do it better. <laughs> if they are indifferent. Put them in charge and let's see how they do. Okay, we grabbed almost every single resource now. Basically. Still got 27 weeks. There we go. Alright. And now we can still build more stuff. Not that there's a whole lot to build. The whiteout draws near. I mean, we have enough food. Wait, do we? Oh, maybe I still need more. Do I need more? Yeah, don't resort to extremes. Oh yeah, I still do need more. Okay, fair enough. That's a decent amount of space. Well, we still do have 22 weeks. Yeah, stockpiles will be ready in 16 weeks. Okay. Can we see uh, how much total space we got somewhere? Right here. We got 55,000 total space right now. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. We don't even need, like, emergency shifts or anything like that. We got it. Just don't freeze. Well, I can't increase heat anymore because we got all of the oil we can possibly get. Emergency shifts is the only thing I could, though. Cold absent. Disease absent. Hunger absent. Scholar absent. And they are still friggin' indifferent. <laughs> How they are indifferent. Sounds like they have unreasonable expectations. We built a literal utopia and they are indifferent, am I right? What's going on here? Resource deposit nearly depleted. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, we're gonna need more stuff after this. This area clearly doesn't have enough resources. There. Okay, stockpiles fall in less than one week. There we go, food secured. We did it. We secured enough food to survive the incoming whiteout. Our workers will make some last-minute preparations before the storm arrives. We should try and keep our people warm for this time. We will survive. Yep, we got it. Let's go. Wait until the whiteout hits. 
That was actually pretty close though. That was actually pretty close. Well, the whiteout is here. But yeah, like, if you don't do these things relatively quickly, you will not make the timer. Against all odds. When the whiteout hit the camp, the wanderers were ready. Everyone was thankful we acted fast and gathered enough food in time. The miracle of the seed colony strengthened our hope that our journey will lead to a promised land. Our elders have added this story to our great tales, alongside warnings about a sinful city that still pumps smoke into the sky. Well, there we go. We survived the end of the world. That's it, guys. That's the game. GG. That's Frostpunk 2. Now what? I wonder who would write the story if you kill the elders? Yeah, good question. I guess there would be no story. Then we would write the story. And it would be a better one. The old captain is dead. New London is weak. Food is low. Overpopulation looms. Coal is running out. Oh, are we taking over? People yearn for a future worth dreaming of, but is it the same future for all? Keep the city together. I guess we'll be taking over New London or something, I guess we'll see. But I don't know, <laughs> I'm doing this blind. Chapter 1. Scraping the Barrel. Yep, coal is running out. The captain is dead. As he weakened, growing divisions brought city maintenance to a grinding halt. Now, New London is left to suffer the consequences. As steward, it is your charge to lead, but you must prove yourself. The overcrowded city is low on resources. Use this warmer year to build more shelter, secure coal, and power the generator back on. Let's get to work. Okay. Yep, well, here we are. I guess this is the actual proper start. Generator is disabled, okay. Central district. Total output, total demand. Okay, got it. I can't click on any of this other stuff. A frost break to a shallow coal seam and construct an extraction district. Turn on the generator, construct new housing districts to address the lack of shelter. Oh wow, holy crap! Wow! I just zoomed out. Wow! You can scroll really damn far. That's crazy. Looks very cool. <laughs> true, true! Okay, that's crazy. I need a minimap to like click on home or something. Wait, how do I go back home? Oh no, I'm lost! Help! I'm lost! Save me! Save me! Uh-oh, I'm lost in the fog! <laughs> that's it, no more steward. I'm lost. Okay, that's actually pretty funny. And like, home or age doesn't send you like, back home. That's actually kind of funny. Can we see like, keyboard shortcuts or something? Okay, surely there has to be a way to bring the camera back home. Okay, focus on city, F. Yeah, I tried home or age, which was not it. There we go, F. It's F. F in chat, true. But wow, that's a crazy huge map. That's insane. I wonder how much of it you will be able to fill, because that's insane. All right. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. Now this is a proper game. So what do we have here? Coal. 100 million materials. Okay, so this is an unlimited source of materials. 
Well, technically, it might still be limited. 100 million. I wonder if this is like actually 100 million or it just says that it is. If you can technically deplete this, some mad lad will actually do it. Like somebody will actually do it if it's possible to deplete this. It's gonna happen. Abandoned ruins. Yeah, so that's prefabs. Anyway, let's go get that coal, shall we? Which was like over here. Okay. That's coal. Coal hype. Is this Civ 7? Uh, Alright. So yeah, since there are two over here, I'll be able to build two districts. So three more. Uh, each one takes like three spaces. Alright. I modded my game to be entirely forest and depleted it all. Yeah, this game uh, is actually supposed to have like mod support from day one. Uh, there was something in the latest trailer about mod support. So that could be interesting. Looking forward to what people are going to do with it. And like how extensive it is. I will say though, this forest doesn't seem that big to have 100 million resources, you know? The, I'm just saying, accessing the deep deposit requires the deep melting drill building. Research Institute. Alright. Well, first let's get that coal, shall we? There you go. Oh, I actually need six. Okay, that's fine. These are limited deposits anyway, so I suppose it makes sense to build it over both of them. Alright, let's build that first. And construct new housing, right? And obviously we'll need food. So... And we need more space. Clearly. Yeah, let's maybe start moving towards more food. I have a feeling we're going to need that. Yep. Most likely. Here you go. Right, so houses should be around here. Sheltered from wind. Oh, okay. Interesting. There you go. More houses. Is this enough space? Yep. Surely they don't mind being right next to the coal mine, right? Hey, nobody promised them luxuries. Captain is dead, coal is gone, the generator is off, we're doomed. You're gonna be fine. Yeah, fast commute at least. True, true. Who doesn't want to live right next to their workplace? You can just walk over there. I'm doing them a favor by building the houses next to the coal mine. Like, I'm literally doing them a favor. Wait, what is this supposed to be? <laughs> Fast transit? Uh, okay. Oh, it's like a, a mech or something like that. I feel like this is a scenic route or something. And that definitely seems like a scenic route. There's one over here. Alright, uh, we can turn on the generator, presumably. Good, luck, good work, Stuart. We have secured a new coal deposit. It's part of the last vein in New London. There are still some deposits left, but they won't last for long. We'll need to improve our mining to use it efficiently. But the city's communities are voicing different ideas about how to do it. We need to decide whose ideas are worth pursuing. Coal left around New London. 769 weeks at current rate. That seems like a lot of time, but it's probably gonna go quickly. We'll we are still technically at minus 10 here. Will last for 24 weeks. Yeah, okay, we need more. Where's more? Over here. Uh, let's just secure that right away. Here you go. Expand an existing housing district. Okay. Expand the district to increase its output and provide one additional building slot. 50 heat stamps minus 50 prefabs. Okay, I guess we can do that. 